You know, if you, if you believe all that, my friend, Jesus said you could be saved tonight. You know, the Bible says in John 3, 16, and that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know, my friend, if you give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you're willing, my friend, to walk that aisle and let Jesus Christ come into your life, you're going to have everlasting life, my friend. But you know, if you don't ever give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you can't ever have everlasting life, my friend. You're going to go to that place called hell like the old rich man went. You know, I bet the old rich man thought he had it made up on this old earth, but where did the rich man open his eyes up, my friend? He opened his eyes up and held the old rich man did because he never did confess Jesus as his personal Savior. Jesus said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, I shall be saved. That's what we got to do. We got to confess Jesus with our mouth. We got to believe in our heart that Jesus Christ died for us and loves us so much that God sent his son just for you and I. You know, he says right here, we ain't no different than the Greek, than the Jews. No man's different than any, any other man. We're all the same. Jesus came and died for all. He didn't just come die for one, one group here or one group here. He came and died for all. That whosoever would accept him as their personal savior could have a chance to be with him when it comes to our time to leave this old world. Could have a chance, my friend, to bow their knees in front of him. Him say, enter in, my good and faithful servant. Ain't that going to be a wonderful and great time, my friend, when we get to go home? There'll be no more heartaches. There'll be no more pain. There'll be no more sorrow, my friend, like they are up on this old earth. You know, every day we turn on the TV, all you hear of is wars and rumors of wars. Right. This going on, that going on, everything in the world going on, my friend. Right. Even today, my friend, the churches are letting this go on, that go on. You know, they don't care about the Lord as much as they did. They used to care about the Lord, my friend. You know, Jesus said, Everybody who shall confess shall be saved. You know, but it's like this, oh, my friend. If you give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ, live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Show the world that Jesus Christ came into your life. Show the world that Jesus Christ loves you. You know, I've heard Brother A. Well, I say you got to go by that old path. What's that old path, my friend? you got to follow this right here. That's the old path. This Bible right here is the old path we've got to go by. We've got to tell you about this Bible right here. We've got to show you what Jesus Christ done for us, how Jesus Christ... Uh, walk through this whole earth like we did. What did he tell us to be, my friend? He said, be the light of the world. We've got to get out here and shine that light for this lost and dying world. We've got to show this world what Jesus Christ means to us in our life, my friend. You know, there ain't no time right now to back up on Jesus Christ right now. This whole world's getting ready to be over with. And we've got to go for Jesus Christ. We've got to shine that light for the Lord, my friend. We've got to be willing to do what God would have us do upon this whole earth, my friend. There ain't no time to go home and sit down on your seat and give up on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, what if Jesus Christ would have gave up on us, my friend, when he walked on this old earth? What if Jesus Christ wouldn't have went to that old rugged cross? What would have happened to us, my friend? We'd all been in the devil's hell today, my friend. When we got ready to leave this old world, we'd be in the devil's hell. But Jesus Christ loved us so much that he came through a Virgin Mary, my friend, and walked upon this old earth for 33 and a third year. He took him 39 stripes on his back just for you and I, my friend. That's how much love God had for me and you upon this old earth. But you know, God didn't have to do nothing for us, my friend. But he came and died just for you and me, an old sinner like, the old sinner like me. What wasn't worthy of, of uh, Jesus dying for me. I wasn't worthy of nothing. But you know, Jesus came and died and gave me that opportunity. When he knocked at that harsh door, he said, come. I came out and walked, that aisle, walked down that aisle, and I gave my heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, if you're here tonight, my friend, you don't know what this man called Jesus. Let this man called Jesus come into your life. Let him be the one that leads and guides and directs you. Yeah. Come out among this old world, my friend. Don't, yeah. don't live for this old world today and live for Jesus Christ tomorrow. It ain't going to work like that, my friend. You might think you can do anything you want to in this old earth. You might think you can walk any old way you want to. But let me tell you a little story, my friend. When you stand in front of the Lord Jesus Christ, there ain't going to be no plan around the Lord Jesus Christ. When you stand in front of him, my friend, it's even going to be you got that blood applied to your heart. You're living for God upon this old earth. Or you didn't give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there's going to be a lot of people upon this old earth thought they give a heart and life to the Lord. The Bible says, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. What's doing the will of the Father? We're doing the will of the Father. Getting here, shining that light. Being a witness for the Lord. Go, showing people how much you love the Lord by going to church and doing what the Bible says. Living the way this Bible tells us to live here tonight, my friend. There ain't no other way you can live except through the preached word of Jesus Christ, my friend. In this Bible right here. It's the only way you can go. There ain't no other way you can go. You know how to preach at church tonight. If you can show me any other way in this Bible that you can go to heaven, show me. And I'll preach it. But you know... The only way I know you can go to heaven is by that blood that was shed on Calvary's tree, my friend. That's the only way you're going to get to heaven. The only way you're going to get to heaven is if you confess Jesus as your personal Savior and fall down upon your knees and let Jesus Christ come into your life. Let him be the one that leads and guides and directs you, my friend, as you walk upon this whole earth. You know, when you say you'll give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ, your life ain't your life anymore, my friend. You're giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you want Jesus Christ to be the one that leads and guides and directs you upon this whole earth. Jesus said, if you follow me, I'll go all the way, even until the end of time. 
No, Jesus is going to be right there with us, my friend. No matter what situation comes up in our life, no matter what happens in our life, my friend, we can get down on our knees and pray to God and say, Lord, help me through this situation. Help me through this situation. Help me here, Lord. I need a little help here. But you know, if we go to church and we do what God would have us do and we live the way that God would have us do, God's going to be right there first, my friend, to lead and guide and direct us the way that he'd have us go. Not the way we want to go, but the way that God wants us to go. Ain't no other way you can go to heaven except through Jesus Christ. You can't buy your way in. You can't sneak your way in. And you, you just can't go in any, any way you think you're going to go in, my friend. If you're out there today and you're lost, you don't know Jesus Christ, and you need someone in your life, get out on your knees and call on that man called Jesus. He's the one that'll, that'll lead you and guide you. He's the one that'll be your best friend. He's the one that'll go all the way, even over to the... Even when you die and leave us, so world, God's going to be right there for you to lead God and direct you over that river. He said he'd always be with us if we give our heart and life to him. But you know the key thing about it is you've got to give your heart and life to him. You've got to let Jesus Christ come into your life. You got to, when he knocks at your heart's door, it's that confess. He said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ has raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. We've got to believe in him. We've got to trust in him. We've got to cling to him. We've got to hold on to him. You know, we've got to show this world, hey, look what Jesus Christ means to me. Hey, look what Jesus Christ done for me in my life. Hey, I'm not the same person I used to be. 